Hi. Now in this next part of the question, we're given that the probability that x lies between 20 and a value d is 0 0.4641 and asked to find the value of d. So to do this, what I'm going to do is just add to this diagram again. Now d is going to be, say, somewhere up here. So if we just mark a line in there, this is the observed value x, which is equal to d. And if I project this value straight the way down onto the standardized graph, we'll call this value z1. Now, we're told then that this area in here, let's just mark it in, is in fact 0 0.4641, 0 0.4641. So that means that again, this area here must be also 0 0.4641. Now, what we've got to do is think of working backwards. And the tables give us the area to the left of any z value. So, in other words, what we know is that the probability that x is less than d is going to be given or represented by the area to the left of d. Well, we know that up to the mean here, that area is 0 0.5 in here, and so the probability of being less than d is going to equal 0 0.5 plus the 0 0.4641. And if you add that up, you're obviously going to get 0 0.9641. Now that we know this probability, it therefore means that the probability that z is less than z1 okay, is going to be exactly the same. Probability being less than z1 is all of this area here. So that too is going to be equal to 0 0.9641. And what we can do now is look this value up in the tables. So what you need to do is in your tables you need to look up the probability of z being less than some particular value z. You need to look up 0.9641. So when you look up 0.9641, you should see that the z value to the left of it says 1.80. Okay? So that means that therefore we can say that from tables z1 equals 1.80. So what does that mean? Well, we know that any z value is always equal to the observed value x minus the mean over sigma. So therefore, what we've got is that z1 must equal the observed value d minus the mean 20, all divided by the standard deviation sigma which would be 4. Now that I know z1 I can say that therefore 1.80 must equal d minus 20 over 4. And if I now multiply both sides by 4 and add 20 I can get d and it turns out that d is equal to 27.20. Okay, so that brings us now to the end of this question.